Hi, it's Tamara from the Port Moody Rec Center. I've got a workout for you today and all you need is a bench. Maybe that's a Reebok step. Maybe it's a bench from your picnic table. Maybe it's the ottoman in your living room. Doesn't really matter. Grab a bench and let's get going. Today's workout is a nine exercise circuit. You can either set your own interval timer for nine rounds of 40 seconds work and 20 seconds rest, or make it easier on yourself and just follow along with me. First exercise is a lateral bench step over. You're gonna put your right foot on the bench and you're gonna reach that left foot down into a squat position, pull it back up and tap it on the other side of the bench. Try to keep the foot on the bench stable, driving through that heel to pull yourself up tall and lower yourself down slowly to the floor. The less you push off with that floor foot, the more you'll be working the quadricep on the bench foot. Keep your core tight throughout. You can use your arms like I am to reach forward and counterbalance yourself. Eye focus should be forward. We're almost done. Hang in there. Last couple of reps. And that's it. Rest for 20 seconds. Next up is bench push-ups. Place your hands on the bench a little wider than your shoulders. Come down into push-up position on either your toes or your knees. Pull your shoulders back and down. Tighten your belly and go. Lower the chest down towards the bench, keeping the body in a straight line. Glutes are tight. Shoulders are pulled back and down. If you need to pause and take a break partway through, that's fine. Just join back in when you're ready. If a long lever push-up is not happening for you today, or you've done enough toe push-ups and you need to drop to knees, here's a modification. We're still working through the chest, front of the shoulders, core is nice and tight. Last few reps, you've got this. And stop, taking a break, 20 second rest. Stretch out the chest if you need to, grab a sip of water, and come back to your feet because we're gonna do those lateral bench step overs on the other leg. Get back up on that bench with the left foot planted, ready for lateral bench step overs, left foot anchored. So the right foot will step off the bench into a squat. You'll push through that left foot to come back up to standing and take the right foot behind, tapping it down on the floor. Try to use the left leg or the leg that's on the step as much as possible and just using that floor leg to tap down and help find your balance. Counterbalance your body with your arms, making sure you're sinking your hips back and down and keeping your chest up. I should be facing the front. Give me a smile. You're almost there. Starting to feel that quadricep kicking in. In three, two, one, and let it rest. Take a 20 second rest here, grabbing water, shaking out the legs if you need to, taking any kind of stretch that feels good. Next up, tricep bench dips. You're gonna come and have a seat on that bench. Put your hands down beside you with your palms on the bench and fingers pointing towards the floors. Extend your legs and start dipping. Make sure that the elbows aren't shooting up above the shoulders. You can limit the depth of your dip. The higher your bench, the more strain this will be on the triceps and the shoulders. You can shorten the lever like I have here by pulling my feet in a little closer to my bum. You can also make it more challenging by extending the legs out in front and putting one heel on the other toe. Make sure that you do an equal number on both sides so you don't end up lopsided by the end of the workout. Just kidding, that doesn't really happen. Take a break part way through if you need to. That's a wrap. Stretch out the triceps. You'll need to get back to your feet for the next exercise. We're going to do a rear foot elevated lunge. Put your back to the bench. Stretch your right leg out behind you, putting the toe on the bench. Pop that left foot out a little bit wider in front and out to the side so the feet are hip distance apart and drop that back knee down towards the floor. If you don't like doing this exercise on a bench, feel free to substitute a stationary lunge. Same thing, except your back toe would be on the floor. If you had a set of dumbbells and you wanna hold them down by your sides, 
or a little bit of a bicep curl here, that would also be a fun addition to the workout. Otherwise, just try to keep that balance and feel the quadricep and the glute working. Couple more reps. Three, two, one. Stepping off that bench, taking a little bit of a break. Walk it out, grab some water, but don't go far. You need to come right back to the bench because we're gonna work on our walking planks next. Come on down with hands on the bench. You can put a mat on the floor where your knees might be if you need to drop into a low plank partway through. Core's nice and tight. We're going to walk down from hands to elbows, left, right, and then push up left, right, back to high plank with our hands. You can try alternating left, right, left, right, and then right, left, right, left, if that works for you. You can take the knee modification as I'm showing here. And if your shoulders just get tired of all that walking movement, you can always just hold the plank for the 40 seconds. Remember when we're planking, we should be in a straight line from the back of our shoulders to either the back of our knees or the back of our heels, whatever part of our lower body is touching the floor. Core should be tight and you're finished. You might find that your lower back needs a little bit of a stretch after that plank position. Feel free to drop back into child's pose for a few seconds before coming back to your feet. We're heading right back into that rear foot elevated lunge, this time with our left foot behind. In three, two, one, go. As you drop into the lunge, make sure that that front knee is not shooting out over the toe too far. You might find that limiting your depth helps with that focusing on keeping your torso up and your core engaged, and also making sure that those feet are hip distance apart because when they're too close together, as if you're walking a tightrope, it's easy to feel like you're losing your balance. Single leg one work is always a balance challenge, remember though, never a bad thing to test our balance. And we're almost there. Three, two, one, take a rest. Shake the legs out, walk around the room, do a little dance, whatever feels good right now. We're going to get ready for our second last exercise. You're going to sit on your bench long ways with your hands behind you and your feet out in front. Lean back into a V-sit, tighten your belly up, and we'll be dropping the legs from one side of the bench to the other. Off you go. The farther back that you lean, the more you're going to engage the abs, the rectus abdominis. The higher your bench is and the lower your legs have to drop, the more you're going to start to feel your hip flexors about halfway through this exercise. You can always choose to do it on the floor if you have a mat nearby. Bench is just a suggestion here. And if you need to take a break because your low back starts to bother you partway through, place your feet on the floor in front of you and lean forward into a slight forward fold. Join back in when you can. But I think we're almost finished. Last rep and take a break. We've got one exercise left today, plyometric movement. It's going to get your heart rate up just to finish off on a high note. We're going to move into box jumps or bench step ups if you don't like to jump, facing your bench and go. If you're jumping you're going to lower yourself into a semi squat position, jump up, land with both feet softly on the top, no heels hanging off the back, Try to be as quiet as you can. The louder you are on that bench, the more your knees will dislike you 10 years from now. Here's my low impact option. It's a step up, step down. You can always intermix those two. And if you're not comfortable jumping on a bench, you could substitute a squat jump on the floor. Hang in there, guys. We are almost finished this round. Last little push. Well done. Nine minute workout not enough for you? Take a pause and do it again. 